Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm El Naz. Today is kitchen organization part two. I am so excited about this video and hopefully after this video you're inspired enough to clean, organize your kitchen. If you haven't watched kitchen organization part one, don't forget to watch it after this. Also, I wanted to welcome all my new subscribers. If you're new here, this channel is all about cleaning, organizing, decluttering, DIY, and lifestyle in general. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for daily tips and tricks at Elnaz Hamas. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to subscribe below and hit that like button. Let's take a look. First, I'm starting with my medicine cabinet. This is the area that I usually struggle. I dump everything in a bin. I don't even know what items I have. I don't even know which ones are expired. So it was time to come up with the easy method that works for us and we can see what medicine we have in our cabinet. I'm just moving some of the shelving to make sure everything fits the way that I want it to be. If you guys know me or seen my previous videos, you guys know I love using Lazy Susan. Of course, I'm using it here for some of my vitamins and for my medicine. It's a great storage um, idea. It's very accessible while saving you tons of space. I'm also using some spice wrap for my medicine. I am so excited about this. I think it looks so organized. Comment below and let me know what you guys think. On that specific rack, I'm putting all kids related medicine. And this round Lazy Susan that you guys see, I had my makeup brushes in it, but I'm not using it for that anymore. So I thought it would be perfect for the kids probiotic and the syringes and things like that. And then I'm just putting all the cold and allergy medicine in that little tray at the end. And I'm putting all the things that I barely use on the top shelf. And this is the end result. I'm so excited that I finally have an organized medicine cabinet. If you guys have any other tips, please comment below. Now it's time to clean out my kids' um, bottle waters and sippy cups and lunch boxes. I donate the things that we didn't need and I just kept the, the ones that we really use. I also order some uh, plastic water bottle storage organizer. Um, I definitely suggest it to you guys. It made a huge difference. I'm so happy with this purchase.
in the water bottle storage made a huge difference in organizing this cabinet. So moving on to one of my messiest uh, drawers, so I'm getting everything out to clean my cabinet. I'm also moving things from one drawer to another, one cabinet to another to see what best works for my kitchen. As you guys see, I'm using these expandable bamboo drawer organizer. I ordered them from Amazon years ago. I don't think they are that pricey. They're usually about $20 to $30. But if you guys don't want to spend that much money, you can get the plastic one. But I think having a drawer organizer, it makes a huge difference because then everything has its own spot and everything stays organized longer. on to the next drawer I also purchased these bamboo divider from Amazon um, if you guys have a narrow and small drawer these are a great solution uh, to divide for your utensils or uh, really anything that you want to organize <music> These are the utensils that I use only for guests, which I haven't had any due to COVID. Hopefully soon I can have company over and I can use them again. And this is the utensil that I use every day. It was already organized that I didn't need to reorganize it. As you see, I'm also using the bamboo divider here. If you have a big drawer like this, it's a great solution to divide your drawer. Moving on to a next cabinet, I keep all my containers here as you see they are very unorganized and I had no method and it's so hard to grab and find anything in there. So I'm using a bigger Lazy Susan here and also I found this store lit container organizer from Amazon which I will link below.
some cute、uh, rabbit and panda rice mold that my mother in law got me from Japan. It's a great solution for picky eaters like my kids. And、uh, let me know in the comment if you guys seen these before. I organize all other cabinets. This is the end result. I really hope I inspire you to clean and organize your kitchen and gave you some good tips. I can't wait to hear from you guys in the comment. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. Your support means so much to me. And if you enjoyed this video, give this video a thumbs up. Hope to see you guys next week. Have a good one. Bye bye. Thank、you